This stupid stunt that sent a YouTuber to prison? On December 23rd, 2021, YouTuber Trevor Jacob uploaded this video called I Crashed My Airplane. The video starts with Trevor holding his best friend's ashes in a Ziploc baggie. His plan was to fly this plane from Lompoc City Airport in Southern California to Mammoth Lakes, California to snowboard, paraglide, and spread his friend's ashes in honor of his adventure-filled lifestyle. However, this plane did not make it to Mammoth Lakes. It crashed into the Sierra Nevada mountains after Trevor ejected himself from the side door. Luckily, Trevor survived and Para. secured the footage to be able to tell us this incredible story. What he didn't realize is that this video was the main source of evidence so on that the federal government used to put him in prison. Most people are smart enough to know that they shouldn't film themselves committing a crime, but this wasn't even the first time Trevor's videos landed him in jail. Trevor's very first photo on Instagram is a picture of him train hopping in East Ohio. <laughs> no this photo shot. was taken in 2012, while Trevor was filming his journey to skateboard across America, starting in New York City and trying to make it all the way back to Los Angeles. The only way he would be able to get to a new city is by hitchhiking or freight hopping. Like many other train hoppers, Trevor that. would hide out at the train yard and wait for the staffs shifts to end. Then he would secretly board a train <laughs> and ride the rails until they stopped secretly. or reached their next destination. They wanted to stop at Woodward, Pennsylvania. It's a all secret and retreat for until posted. BMX, scootering, gymnastics, and all other action sports. It was during this trip that Trevor Jacob accidentally made skateboarding history. He landed the world's first double backflip oh, on damn. skateboard. However, skateboarding legend Danny Way says that this trick is technically not a flip. Way said that it's truly an off-axis frontside 720, adding there's a big difference in the approach and rotation between flipping and spinning off-axis. But Trevor was not able to defend his trick because he was sitting in jail. After Trevor left- I mean, it still looks cool to me, brother. I can't even- I can't even stand on the thing, so I mean, that's pretty cool to someone like me. Jacob accidentally made skateboarding history. Let me see it he again. the world's first double backflip on a skateboard. However, Boom. skateboarding legend Danny Way Boy. says that this trick is technically not a flip. Way said that it's truly an off-axis frontside 720, adding there's a big difference in the approach and rotation between Maybe flipping true. and spinning off-axis. But Trevor was but not still able cool. to defend his trick because he was sitting in jail. After Trevor left Woodward, he jumped back on a freight train and headed west. While passing through Alliance, Ohio, the train stopped and some workers discovered him and his buddy Taylor Woods hiding under a tarp on a Norfolk Southern train. They were arrested Yikes. for railroad vandalism and criminal trespassing. After spending two nights in the Yikes. Stark County Jail, they got out and jumped right back on another train, and another, and another, <laughs> until Again. they finally made it back home. This particular uh, trip was not the first, nor the last. Well, that's crazy. Actually, I thought they were going to get caught after doing all this. They actually got caught on train and still decided, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> last time Trevor train. You got to get home somehow. Train hopped. I can't tell you not Shit. to freight train hop, but if you do, don't film it and don't put it online. <laughs> it's way more hassle than it's worth. Don't. Um, right, but right, uh, right. they've actually forced me right. to delete. 99% of the Who videos guessed? that I've had on there, court ordered. He doesn't do this <laughs> because guessed? he is homeless with no money. Train hopping is more of a way of life, a rebellious act of defiance and pursuit of freedom, performed by punks who are typically not looking for work nor interested Punk. in being a part of society. However, it was this exact lifestyle that earned Trevor a career working for Travis Pastrana's Nitro Circus. Punk. Nitro Circus is an action sport collective that travels the country doing live events performing stunts for large stadiums of fans. This was created by Travis Pastrana, professional motorsports competitor and stunt performer. Travis invited Trevor to be a part of the Nitro Circus team from 2013 to 2014. Trevor spent a lot of time with the collective. He also helped Travis film his movie, Action Figures. This was an energy-packed, high-octane film filmed with the craziest stunts performed by the most badass dudes on the planet. Trevor Daniel fit the bill as someone who can pretty much do anything. Skateboard, BMX, snowboard, skydive, dirt bike, you like Red Bull. Trevor can do it. He wasn't too interested in traditional sports like basketball or football, but I am. And with the NFL season about to start, underdog fantasy is the easiest Oh, uh, it's like drafts. Oh, no. Sports inspired. I tried one time, I just couldn't my code Patrick CC today okay. to take advantage and win some money. Could, Seeing some commercial success my brain through action just sports inspired Trevor to get back into his first passion, fried. snowboarding, as he was about to qualify for the 2014 Olympics in Sochi, Russia. Trevor grew up on a ski resort in Mammoth Lakes, California. His father owned a baseless binding company that would supply local shops. 
Trevor spent his entire youth shredding the mountains and busting out insane tricks. At age 7, he won three gold medals in the USASA Nationals. At 13, he became the youngest halfpipe finalist ever at the US Open of Snowboarding. By age 16, he secured a cover of Snowboarder Magazine in August and September of 2010, and landing himself a Nike 6.0 and Oakley sponsorship. He was a snowboarding prodigy. Oakley and Nike! From 2010 to 2012, he placed top five in various Dew Tour and Grand Prix snowboarding events, including a first place in halfpipe at the Burton AM series. But Trevor could not fully commit to one sport. Snowboarding wasn't even his passion. He just grew up on a mountain and didn't have much else to do, and knew that he was really good at it. Not to mention the countless Fair. injuries. He claims to have had suffered at least 25 concussions from taking massive slams Oish. on his board. In 2012, Jesus. he simply quit and embarked on his train hopping slash skateboarding across America journey. After this trip, he ran into his former snowboarding coach, Mike Jankowski, who had connections so Trevor could train with the men's USA snowboard team. But Trevor wanted to try a new event, Border Damn. Cross, which is a downhill racing event with twists, turns, and jumps to test a snowboarder's board control. At that camp, Jacob Golly. was wild, rough Wait, is that the track? turns and jumps to test a snowboarder's board control. At that camp- well, That reminds me of like a DK's one. Or is it DK? Wario? Somebody's. I think it's DK. This is a snow- Racing event with twists, turns, and jumps to test a snowboarder's board control. At that camp, Jacob was wild, rough around the edges, and didn't fit in with everyone on the team. Many of the riders felt like he didn't deserve to be there. However, on his first official event, Grand Prix from the Canyons Resort in Utah, he secured a first place victory. From there, he struggled in future events, but came through when it mattered the most. He won his first World Cup race in Valner Andorra, and was the second US man named to represent the Olympic team. And I couldn't really believe it. I just kind of dropped in and, um... And we wanted to see what would happen, I got down first, and here we are, I'm so excited. Trevor Jacobs first. went from child prodigy, to train hopping, to nitro circus, and now the Olympics. He proudly represented his Ugh. country in Sochi, Russia. Unfortunately, he needed a top 8 Damn. placement to make it to the SBX finals, and he got ninth, missing his no. chance to race for a medal by inches. To make matters Damn. worse, the next Almost. year, his best friend and adventurer, That's Johnny still crazy. sadly That's still passed fucking away crazy, during a base jumping accident. Johnny lived a very similar action-packed nomadic lifestyle. He became the youngest person to climb the Seven Summits, which are the highest mountains in each of the seven continents. Damn. Johnny studied what was called the Base Jump Death List, and he would meticulously oh, analyze everything to the that maximum. went wrong with other base jumpers. Sadly, he would find himself on that list on September 28, 2015. Johnny base jumped oh. off the Alpine Peak of Mount Gishin in Switzerland. To put it simply, he was just unlucky that Jeez. day. A combination of an unlucky jump and an unpredictable gust of wind had him plummet downwards too fast, sending him straight into the mountain, dying on impact. Oh. Johnny's passing destroyed Trevor. Jeez. He struggled with depression for many years, but it didn't make him afraid of action sports. It actually made Trevor want to live a more risky and more ambitious lifestyle in honor of his friend. He quit all professional sports by 2016. That was like some Tom Cruise shit. in his life from there. Straight. You wouldn't be able to tell now because he deleted with a drink. his YouTube catalog. One he was hand. uploading very consistently at one point. His great <laughs> train fuck? hopping videos were among some of the most popular. For many years, he just maintained his relationship with the Nitro Circus crew. He participated in Travis's second movie, Action Figures 2, and would work on and off whenever he needed money. He was always down to do wild and crazy oh, stunts. Oh shit! But he yeah, I just realized what name they said. I had never really watched Nitro Circus a lot, but I know who and what they were doing around the time. That's crazy. Eh? Lived his life chasing his next adrenaline high. This is common for hardcore. I didn't realize he was there for one and two. Fuck or action yeah, no. sports athletes, or rock Jeez. climbers, daredevils, or some general outdoorsy people. They spend right. just enough time within society to make enough money for food, minor expenses, and travel, and spend as Hell much yeah. time as they possibly can outdoors doing what they love. This clip pretty much summarizes okay. Trevor's mentality towards life. We're human beings. If that's we have what the you opportunity want. to lift up and we can go north, we can go west, we can go east, we can go south, we can go any direction when we want. If True. you want to change your life, you're not happy with your life right now, you can and you have the opportunity and the power to change it right now. Typically those who lead these nomadic lifestyles struggle to maintain True. relationships or structure. Well, you could take that even like a step farther, just like in general principles of besides where you want to be in the world, you can use that like mentally, business and all that shit. It's like, at any point, you decide, you decide, you want to show up to work tomorrow or you want to fucking uh, 
you know, you, know, you want to go, you want to go make that double feature. You know what I'm saying? Like, Point. They will just up and leave, or make a drastic change to make themselves feel better. Sometimes, do when thinking that you. selfishly, you forget how do that you. affects the people around you. And one day, Trevor would make a selfish decision so dangerous that it landed him in prison for multiple years. The video titled I Crash My Plane was uploaded on December 23rd, 2021, but the actual crash took place one month prior. On November 25th. Bro, I know, I know what didn't get him in trouble with the train hopping was him recording it first. Like, he got in trouble because he got caught. But even if he didn't get caught, there was trouble because he recorded it. And he even, even he acknowledged it. But brother said, you know what? I'm just going to jump out of a plane. And I don't, I don't know where it's gonna land. He probably like had an idea that it would land somewhere out in the open, like maybe on a hillside or whatever. But there's still a chance some random person pops up, some random, you know, bobcat or whatever. Like, he, the fact he went into this is wild. <laughs> he, he knew, he already knew. He said, "Man, I shouldn't have done that recording thing." This is just that, but on a whole bigger level, like. Huh? It's 2021. Trevor Brother. Daniel Jacob arrived at the Lompoc Straight just crash friend, my Johnny fucking Strange's plane. Ashes in a Ziploc baggie. He wants to take his friend's That's crazy. ashes to his favorite mountain and spread them in his honor. And the thing is, like, it is pretty dumb. Because, like, there's a lot of things that could happen and just, that could go awry and shit. And it's, like, why this isn't allowed. But, do, but uh,. I guess, you know, say yes. Uh, you know? He also mentioned- I don't want to- I don't want to- I don't want to condone, but like, you know, like, uh, when Tom Cruise does it, you know. Shins that the- I'm on the edge of my seat. YouTube video he is filming is sponsored by you know? Ridge Wallet. Around 9.30 a.m., Trevor Jacob takes off in his single-engine Taylorcraft BL-65, an aircraft in poor condition that he purchased for very cheap from its previous owner. He reportedly attempted to work on the aircraft himself, despite not being a licensed aircraft engineer or mechanic, which is illegal. Trevor also has a parachute specifically designed for skydiving strapped to his back. Pilots do not usually carry parachutes, let alone these ones. In the cockpit, a fuel line can be seen attached to the fuel selector, not plugged into the wing, a result of his shoddy work on the aircraft. At around 10 a.m., <laughs> he is flying at an altitude of 10,000 feet right. when he says that his engine fails. Holy f I'm over the mountains and I get out an engine out. But before he even says that his engine fails, his door is open, and he had already been looking down for a minute or so instead of trying to assess the problem inside of the cockpit. He begins pulling the yoke to slow down the plane and stop the propellers from spinning. Every aviation expert has said that this is the exact opposite of what you would want to do in this situation, and <laughs> takes a considerable amount of effort to actually stop them from spinning. Uh, bro, I love those videos. I love those videos where you got like a professional, like a dentist or like a like a pilot or you know a ex thief. They just come in and they're like watch a movie or a YouTube video and they're just like. Man, this shit's all wrong. What the fuck are you doing? In this situation, what is going takes on? A considerable amount of this is just nothing anyone would ever want to do. I love when the they say shit like that. That's funny. So I I can't tell if this man actually meant to do this on purpose. Like was this on purpose? Like he says engine failure shit like. Get out of here. But before he even says that his engine fails, his door is open, and he had already been looking down for a minute or so instead of trying to assess the problem inside of the cockpit. He begins pulling the yoke to slow down the plane yoke. and stop the propellers from spinning. Every aviation expert has said that this is the exact opposite <laughs> of what you would want to do. Yeah, just like look at his immediate reaction, like he's straight, he's fascinated, and then he's, he's flabbergasted. <laughs> <laughs> Every aviation expert has said that this is the exact opposite of what you would want to do in this situation oh, and it takes shit. a considerable amount of effort to no. actually stop them from spinning. Normally, the protocol for a pilot to follow during an engine failure oh, is to fuck. angle the plane for optimal speed to glide through the air for as long as possible, and during that glide time, <laughs> search for a place to land safely. Trevor does neither of these and instead stops the propellers. Why? The only explanation would be for dramatic effect. 
There are also several visible safe places to land his aircraft, which is designed for off-field landings. But it seems as if he never tried to handle the problem in the cockpit. Instead, he immediately decided to grab his GoPro, jump out of the plane, and parachute to safety. Falling in the sky, he has a choice to make. Does he float to safety in civilization near the valley, or does he land in the dense brush on the mountainside to retrieve his GoPros? Instead of maximizing his chances of survival, he decided to land in the bushes to retrieve the footage. Oi. After about a 20 minute walk in the mountains, Trevor found the aircraft. But the more you analyze the footage, the more unlikely this story seems. After he deploys his parachute, the video cuts between three- uh, So it- so it was on purpose, but he tried to, you know, he tried to- Trying to hide it under the sands. Three different shots. A shot of Trevor hey. holding the GoPro he jumped with, two shots hey. of the plane doing a death spiral from the GoPros that were attached to it, and a shot of the plane from above. But this above shot is incredibly confusing. You could see how much further below he is from the plane. So how did the plane all of a sudden get that far below him? Trevor claims that while he was parachuting, he pulled out his GoPro and filmed the plane as it fell to the earth. Jeff Harris explained that the only possible way Trevor oh. could have gotten this angle oh. is if he jumped- Oh, they got him with the Google Maps. They straight said, let me check this real <laughs> so That the only possible way Trevor oh, could have gotten shit. this angle is if he jumped out of the plane and moved 4,500 feet horizontally while only losing 800 feet in elevation, which is impossible. Okay. Not to mention that these above shots are perfect stabilized and smooth with the plane in the center and they rotate on a perfect axis never dipping in elevation under no circumstance would that plane hit the ground before him he fell for 3,500 feet in what people estimate to be 20 seconds before deploying his parachute that specific plane is known to glide really well so the shot of the plane from above would have been impossible unless it was shot by a drone or chase vehicle operated by someone else Jeff Harris's theory is that Trevor jumped out of the plane landed a safely drone. in the valley got picked up by his friends and used that drone footage to locate the plane then the next day did another flight and another jump near the crash site to recover the footage and act out an entertaining youtube video but the evidence doesn't stop there as soon as he lands he struggles for a bit trying to get himself out of the brush we get a black screen that says 20 minutes later and he is now filming with his phone then it cuts to gopro footage without his bag on his back then back to his phone then back to his gopro although it's unlikely to have cell service out there why would you waste phone battery filming when there's a mere chance you could use it to call someone he says he <laughs> always freaking fly with a parachute although he has multiple Dang. videos of him flying without a parachute you can also see that he is carrying a gun pilots carrying guns is not typical Typical, unless you are extremely Jeez. paranoid. But when you are entering the mountains with dangerous animals, it makes sense to carry. So it's almost like he knew he would end up in those mountains. The rest of the video is him just trekking through the mountains Jeez, miles and miles <laughs> away from civilization. But oh, all of a sudden, bro, the internet all of a sudden has gained fucking, bro, the world, even fuck the internet, the world has gained a large amount of detectives. Holy fuck, man. People are getting caught in 4K every goddamn day. Mountains. Holy! The rest of the video is him just trekking through. Even more than they used to, goddammit. The it's... mountains miles and miles away from Jesus. civilization. But only seven hours went by. And... Bro, even the YouTube pranksters got away with this for a while. But this guy, man, he had everybody's attention and they said, I got you. I got you right where I want you. The rest of the video I is gotcha. him just trekking through the mountains miles I gotcha. and miles away from civilization. But only seven hours went by and somehow farmers located him. These farmers just happened to be driving through the mountains, off-road, and they were wearing all black and skateboard shoes. The video ends with Trevor completing his mission of spreading his friend's ashes Farmer. on top of his favorite mountain to paraglide. After Trevor posted this- Farmer with the vans! Video- um Brother, you wear vans on a farm? You got two days with those fucking things. And your, your feet? They got ten hours, if you're lucky. Immediately, every pilot Jesus. and aviation expert on YouTube assessed it and gave their thoughts. All of them agreed that based on this footage, Trevor did nothing to try and save that aircraft and most likely had full intention of jumping out of that plane while letting it crash on purpose. And it turns out, they were right. On November 26th, 2021, Jacob oh, informed shit. the National Transport Safety Board about the plane crash two days after it happened. They got the, the alphabet NTSB boys. immediately launched oh, an investigation. No. 
The Federal Aviation the Association alphabet. also began an investigation. Oh, he was told he was responsible oh, for no. preserving the wreckage so that they could analyze it. Oh, These no. investigations are extremely important so the professionals can oh. learn what happened so that it doesn't happen to anyone else. However, in early December, Trevor lied to investigators and said that he did not know the wreckage's location. He was dumb enough to post a YouTube video proving he did in fact know where the wreckage's location was. On April 1st, 2022, <laughs> less than four months after the video was released, oh, they no. sent an emergency order to revoke his pilot's license. The oh. FAA determined that Trevor operated this flight to purposely crash, using his YouTube video as the main source of evidence, specifically violating a federal aviation regulation that states no person may operate an aircraft in a careless or reckless manner. So as you know, now that I think about it, in a sense, I guess he's kind of lucky that train shit, he didn't get in trouble for it, because he, people surely saw that. And they could have been like, yo, you were wildin' for a minute, brother, like... ...to endanger the life or property of another. I guess this is like two different levels, though, so I guess it makes sense. They go back on this footage and be like, yeah, you gotta do something. You gotta, you, 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 you gone crazy, brother. Like, you can't do this. Like... Once this news broke, the story was being told on a national news! level. To the YouTube daredevil. Oh, shit. Oh, they even got my man on here, dog. Oh, man, you know you fucked up when he's got you on the news, man. License revoked. The FAA oh, said he no. intentionally crashed that plane in his viral video. Oh. Will Reeve has more. In response, Trevor Jesus. posted a video called I Lost My Pilot's License, in which he reacted to the news in a very strange way. I'm sorry if I offended you, but at the end of the day, you're the one that chose to be offended. <laughs> <laughs> After watching this video, it really proves Trevor is pathetic. He decides to go down the they were trying to sabotage me route when it's so obvious that he <laughs> staged the video. Even though his license was revoked, justice was not served. This investigation was not over. As you can imagine, the USA has extremely strict laws regarding air travel after 9-11. Purposely crashing a plane is a felony, and the federal government started their case against him. In the meantime, Trevor continued to live an adventure-filled life. Base jumping, skydiving, a lot of his videos are now deleted, but he continued to upload oh. ones despite the co- Bro, you have to think he knew this already. Like, the whole idea of crashing your plane like, even if it is your plane, and you're like a billionaire, you're still not allowed to do this, just like, out and about, just cause fuck it. Really, he had, like, there's no shot. He even knew he couldn't jump on trains. Like, brother just said fuck it. And now he's out here saying the system set me up. <laughs> it was a felony in the federal- They got me, they said- The government started the case They set him. me up. In the meantime, Trevor Brother's continued off to live one. an adventure-filled life. Jesus. Face jumping, skydiving. A lot of his videos are now deleted, but he continued to upload ones despite the comment sections absolutely destroying him. In July of 2022, he posted a video titled, I'm sorry. In this 45 minute rant, Trevor does not apologize. He says that he didn't intend on hurting anyone or making anyone angry. I didn't think that everyone would perceive it the way that it was perceived. I didn't really know how it was going to get perceived, but okay. I definitely didn't think it was going to make it. Okay, stop. There's no shot, man. If you, uh, There's no way. I just can't believe this man is like, yeah, train hopping's illegal, but I'm going to do it. And there's no way, like, there's no, there's just no part of my brain that can believe someone who knows that that's illegal and he's still doing it that he didn't know before he did this that it was legal and then still did it like he seems like he knew and he just said fuck it <laughs> it's like People come angry. on he rambles on on how he no isn't a bad person shot. but the internet made it seem no like he is one shot. then vice put out a 20 minute documentary that celebrated trevor's life he addressed bro just like i don't i don't know man even if he didn't think that that was just, I can't believe it. I can't. It's the allegations <laughs> can't. there. Yeah. Whether I no completely way. did that on purpose or whether it was the... Even if you didn't think of it, it's just like, is Google? Like, bro, just, can I jump out airplane? No, bitch. Like, okay, I'm done. Bro, that's how I figure out most of my shit. Can I, like, can I take a water bottle in the movies? Can I fucking... Can I, uh, can I, uh, eat M&M's in the Walmart? Like, yes, yes. Can I, you know, like, brother, like... Scariest... If you don't know, Google, like, don't just do it. <laughs> most terrifying accident that was... Especially something on that level. Like, holy shit. Completely non-intentional. Jesus. The world may never know.
The smile on his face tells it all, but we don't need to guess, because nine months later, his legal counsel advised him to take a plea agreement, and Trevor finally admitted to his wrongdoings. On May 11th, 2023, Trevor Jacob agreed to plead guilty to a felony charge for obstructing a federal investigation by deliberately destroying the wreckage of an airplane that he intentionally crashed. According to the plea agreement, on December 10th, 2021, Two weeks after the plane crash, Jacob and a friend flew by the helicopter to the wreckage site. There, Jacob used straps to secure the wreckage, which the helicopter lifted, and carried to Rancho Sisqua in Santa Barbara County, where it was loaded onto a trailer attached to Jacob's pickup truck. Jacob then drove the wreckage to Lompoc City Airport and unloaded it in a hangar. He then mm -hmm. cut up and destroyed the airplane wreckage, and over the course of a few days, deposited the detached plane parts of the wrecked airplane into trash bins at the airport and elsewhere, oh. which he admitted in his plea agreement was done with the intent to obstruct federal authorities from investigating the November 24th hey, plane crash. Yo. The press releases have all said that he is facing Man, a maximum of 20 years in prison, it. but we know plea deals are strategic. If they did a full-on trial and he was found guilty, he might face that maximum, but he is essentially cutting his losses. The minimum sentence is just a few months of probation. Trevor does have a prior criminal record, but ultimately his fate is in the judge's hands. His sentencing will happen within a few weeks from now. If the judge sentences him to more than 24 months, he can appeal. And when we find out, I'll update in the comments what his sentence was. It's unlikely this was all a stunt for a Ridge Wallet sponsorship. Trevor has not been one to ever care about money. His whole life has revolved around documenting his crazy adventurous lifestyle. He genuinely believed that nobody could get hurt and that abandoning his plane would be the most badass stunt he's ever done. Even though Trevor pleaded guilty, it's pretty obvious he doesn't think he did anything wrong. But he has a lot of time to think about it because his next big adventure is going to be sitting in a prison cell for many years. Jeez. What a way to cap that. Jeez. Yeah, man. That was wild. That is pretty crazy. Bro, the smile he the gave... <laughs> the smile he gave after... We'll never know. That was... Brother might as well just had a wanted poster in front of him and said, Hey, take me. Take me. Come on, man. You know I did it. <laughs> you know I did it. Like, come on, man. Like, couldn't even hide it. But uh, yeah, that's crazy.